The EXA is a fluorescence spectrometer developed for the identification of natural diamonds with applications for color stones. It can be used either for loose and mounted gems. Besides being an effective screening unit for diamonds in standard mode, it is provided by an advanced mode featuring the fluorescence spectrum for more in-deep analysis. The X analyzes the photoluminescent spectrum of samples, illuminating them by a powerful long-wave ultraviolet light, which is almost invisible, yet harmful for the eyes. Never, never look directly into the probe end. It is advised to use the supplied polycarbonate safety goggles to protect your eyes during a prolonged use of the instrument. The spectrometer of the EXA is very sensitive, so it's advisable to reduce the environment light as much as possible in the proximity of the testing area. In particular, the speaky light of fluorescent tubes and some LED can pollute the spectroscopic analysis and reduce the efficiency of the instrument. The EXA can be operated in standard or advanced mode. It is a standalone instrument provided by a touchscreen panel, easy to use in standard mode. But for the advanced mode, we strongly suggest to add the keyboard-mouse combo, which can be easily connected to one of the two USB ports of the instrument. Press the on-off button on the rear panel of the EXA. Click on the EXA icon on the screen. Make sure the UV light is off, cover the end of the probe with the supplied plastic cap and press OK. Now switch the UV light on, remove the plastic cap from the probe end and press OK for start testing. The unit is ready to scan. Around 98% of natural diamonds embed a specific defect in the crystal lattice, which cannot be reproduced in the synthetic colorless diamonds manufacturing process. This defect, a nitrogen aggregate named N3, is responsible for the blue fluorescence and produces distinctive peaks and related sidebands in the spectrum which are identified by the X. The standard mode will pass or refer the diamond depending on the detection of the entry peak and its sidebands. For testing a loose diamond, just put it table down on the sampling tray and point the probe towards the pavilion of the stone. Pass. It gets a pass, so it's a natural diamond. Now let's test another diamond. This stone has been referred by the EXA, meaning it needs for further testing. The next step is to run the advanced mode, but we will see it in the next video. Usually keeping the tip of the probe few millimeters away is perfectly suitable to obtain a correct result, but it really depends by the size of the diamond. If the stone is big, the probe can get its reaction even from more than 2 cm away. In any case, never touch the stone with the probe to avoid damage to the fiber optic. Testing mounted diamonds in standard mode. For testing small mounted diamonds, it can be useful to plug the specific adapter provided to reduce the size of the beam. Just aim the probe to the stone and wait for the result, then move slightly away the probe before moving to the next one. In conclusion, when a colorless stone gets a pass from the EXA, that is a natural diamond. All the synthetic diamonds and its simulants get a refer. In addition, some very rare pure 1AA and parts of the natural 2A are referred to. About this, it must be worthwhile to stress that the EXA is not a diamond type detector. A discrete amount of natural type 2 contain a very small quantity of entry aggregates, which are enough to trigger the spectrometer of the EXA and thus identified as natural. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about our spectrometers, please visit our website. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at